That was fun. Confusing at first, but then I felt it drop and then drop and turn. Oh, yeah, I gotta remember it's down, then pull it towards me. Yeah, yeah, twist. So you, so first you pull it down and then you twist and you. I thought it meant like a turn. I thought it, I thought it was like the handle. I didn't know he meant like the whole thing. Yeah, you got to twist the bar. You got to twist the thing. Yeah, twist the bar, whole handle. Track. There's a few things you should know. To enter the simulator, pull the door open by the window. There are no latches. Be careful not to lean on the steering wheel. Use the handle on the door frame to lower yourself in, then swing your legs in last and gently close the door. Look for the lever under your right leg or knee and move it to the left to adjust your seat forward or backward. Make sure the red tape is at the top of the steering wheel.
are two sides to every car, each with its own seat, steering wheel, and pedals. These are your paddle shifters. You'll use them to change the gears. Press the right paddle with your fingertips to shift up and the left paddle to shift down. Your brake pedal is on the left and the gas pedal on the right. When you hear NASCAR Hall of Fame crew members say, drivers, start your engines. Tap the throttle pedal to get on track. Don't be tempted to throw the gas or it may send you spinning. Put your left foot on the brake and pull the right paddle shifter back twice to put your car in second gear. Wait for the car in front of you or the pace car to go first. Remember, be easy on the gas and start slow. If you put the pedal to the metal, you'll spin the rear tires and lose control. Stay in line and follow the pace car in front of you. Don't pass anyone and try not to hit the car in front of you. Don't forget to use your brake if you need it. The pace car will pull off the track after the first lap. Stay in position and maintain pace until you hear green flag, green flag. is on. Give your car more gas and change your gears. There are only five gears, so once you get the fifth gear, you're all set. Don't forget, you aren't the only one on the track, but you won't be able to see cars next to you. Listen to the spot. That's the voice in your ear telling you if a car is high or low. A car high means there's a car next to you on your right side. A car low means there's a car on your left. Hold your line and wait until your spotter says clear. If you crash or lose control of your car, the best thing to do is hold the steering wheel steady, let off the gas, and apply the brake. Jerking the steering wheel back and forth won't save the car from crashing. Pro tip, don't worry if you crash. You can reset as many times as you need. Once your car is completely stopped, you can reset and get a new car. To do this, keep the brake pedal pressed, return your wheel to an upright position, and hold down the red button near your right thumb. Keep holding the button until you see your car reappear here on the wheel. Now, you can get back in the race. At the conclusion of the race, push the door open and swing your legs out first. Be careful not to lean on the steering wheel as you get out. Use the handle on the door frame to pull yourself up and out. Then, gently close the door. Make your way to the exit. Check out the race results on the screen just outside the gate. You can even take a snapshot for bragging rights. Thank you, and good luck in the race. This was, um, I think, when he won the um, Cup Series. Johnson and the number 48 team to 81 wins. 